Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Let's Talk Too. In conjunction with Angry Black Man's Book Club, Dr. Short's here. We're here, you know, you guys. All I'm going to say is uh, it's a show that comes on TV. I don't even watch the show, but I've heard of the name. And I'll just say uh, when it comes to going live and being able to put a broadcast together, stranger things tend to happen. <laughs> yeah, like this new thing that they get to see all of your information. It kept demanding that. What do you need all my information for? And what people say and this, that, and the other. I don't know what the hell that's about. You know, one one of these days, um, you guys in the chat, you guys that will watch the broadcast, I had put something in my community section last week about <clears throat> the Supreme Court is actually um, – about to hear a major case um, that the government, the, uh, not the government, the uh, White House, the legislative branch of our, no, the executive branch of our government overstepped its bounds when it comes to the First Amendment, which we're getting these social media sites with censorship. So mm -hmm. at any given moment, uh, our justices are going to be making a ruling. And this ruling is very important to What's been going on, you, you know, since that uh, the medical situation in 2020 up until now, dealing with TikTok, um, the TikTok thing got past the house, now it has to go through the Senate. So, you guys on social media, and we use social media as a vehicle, know that um, a lot of the rights <laughs> that we had yesterday may not be there tomorrow. Right. And some rights may come, come back and, you know, Who it's ways to censorship without calling it censorship. It's ways of blocking you. I know um, one of the things that I use, I use StreamYard, which is a third party app. Now you can't go into Facebook groups as of April. Uh, Instagram to opened up their IPA. So it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. You can't go into a Facebook group in April, starting April 22nd. You can only stream to your page. Or your profile. If you're in a group and you're an admin of a group, you can't stream. You're not going to be able to stream from a third party service. So, mm. <laughs> tonight we got Dr. Short and myself here. And um, we're going to talk about Donald Trump, 45, <laughs> former President Trump, who would like to be our, four, our 47th president as well. And is Donald Trump the new face of black power? Or, or for my channel, do black women hate Kevin Samuels because, I mean, hate Donald Trump because he's the white Kevin Samuels? Mm. We're looking at all this phenomenon. That every time you turn around, look, every time I hear a court decision that's ridiculous against Trump, it's almost always a black woman judge. There are two in Illinois. Uh, Tracy Porter, and then there's, uh, what's this woman? I think uh, Carolyn Johnson, something else. Uh, and so that's, I mean, you keep getting, and they're always Greek letter oriented. They're all of these boule holes uh, attacking Trump. One and one and one and one again. And uh, it's amazing. It is you, know, you know, Dr. Amazing. Short, they'll tell you that we don't have enough black women lawyers and judges but like you said it's always one black woman who's either the prosecutor or the judge that's coming after him in these cases and i know you've been you've been talking about it for a while dr short how our women are putting themselves in direct conflict of what we say white supremacy is and people and it's like you know it's is he like the new face of uh, the alpha black male, the the, the masculine male? Um, I think that black women are the spear tip of attacking uh, patriarchy. Um, I'm going to say this. I don't care how it, it comes across. In the black American community, uh, white Americans have structured a an incredible dysfunction and imbalance. 
Mm. And so, um, I'm thinking that, um, that, so what has happened with the imbalances, every other people in the world that I'm aware of for the most part that have any freedom, the leadership of the group is, is, uh, it's male. In our community, uh, due to the interruption and the attack on the black community, our leadership has been made female going back to the plantation. Black men have been castrated. And then again, I have to say this about black men. Black men uh, have a brother fucker culture. Black men castrate and destroy each other. They were doing it in Africa. The aboriginals were fighting and killing each other here. We have never made common cause with each other's black men. So with white men and white women and everybody else investing in black women as a means to subordinate black men and black men being catty, bitchy, cutthroat, backstabby, they don't keep their words. You know, you can't trust or lend money to anyone because there's no reciprocity. That because black men are dysfunctional horizontally towards each other and white society has structured a way to use women to usurp men, uh, we're in a double bind. And through this, mm. this failure of black men, because I've got to say black men have completely fucked this thing up for 150 years plus 159 years that we've been out of uh, so, so-called chattel slavery. Black men have not gotten enough common sense to stick together like illegals just coming across the border, band together. And yet you can't get that from black folks who have degrees in education. Talk about black men. I'm not going to talk about black women. Black men are singularly failures in this country, refuse to work together. Uh, we're very catty. So into that that absence, that vacuum of power, which would not exist if black men cooperated as a block. You have black women who are out of order and they've been used out of order. And black women are very aware that they are out of order. They know that they're out of order. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, and a black woman out of order, all she has to do is pick up the phone and call the police hit herself on the leg with the spatula and say, you did it and you're off to jail. They won't check. It just, this is understood. That's white power. The same way Dylan Roth knew that he could massacre those people in Emmanuel Church. He knew he'd be taken alive. He knew that the white men and law enforcement would, would spare his life. Black women know that there's an infrastructure of white supremacy that backs them vis-a-vis -vis black men. Proof of that is child support fraud and other things that constantly go on. Uh, there's just a system of, of castration that goes on. And so black women see Donald Trump who, who likes black women but is patriarchal and has done some things that come across the way he talks, like he insults, he acts like a black dude. With, he's a, a basically like a redneck player. <laughs> Donald Trump has the, the mind of a redneck player. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. He has the mind of a redneck player. And that's sort of what upsets these black women. And then they've been told, you have to understand that black women have been the defender of the plantation. They always have. Yeah, some people even go so far as saying that they were the real house niggas. <laughs> well, no, but, no, but black men being petty towards each other are house niggas. If we start looking at assassinations mm -hmm. and betrayals and snitches and the so the uh, the black men are are well represented. So it's a lie that what black men are somehow loyal to some shared cause. You can look at any situation where you have illegals come in and meatpacking out west, 
and they can all agree to strike for higher wages. You know, and I know at your job right now, if you were being mistreated racially, don't ask another black man there for it. No matter no matter how bad it was, he, he you may not even be able to tell him that it's happening because in reality, what has happened to black men is that they've become um, pathetic. They, they don't work together. And I'm not even talking about anything crazy. I'm talking about something like decent wages, like housing, like uh, child and family, uh, family law, uh, uh, tort reform, just basic well, stuff. Well, Dr. Like, Short, like, I, got, I got some people that'll help you out uh, with your situation. But um, let me let me see if he can he allow me to give you his phone number before he, I give you the number. No, I don't want people to get people can email me. I don't no, want. People. I'm just saying. I'm just putting an example about how uh, when somebody wants to do a favor or help you get in a better situation, it's mm -hmm. always you got to take a person through all this stuff instead of like you gave me some information the other day and you just gave it to me. You just I, like here, I got some information for I'll you. I'll do better. I don't care what anybody says about uh, the uh, the uh, migrants or the Biden migrants. I like that the migrants. When I worked in uh, catering, the Latin Americans and Asians, all the other men and all the other groups would tell each other about the jobs available in, in catering. Black men would not tell another black man anything. And what would happen is so few black men would be there until the other groups of men would force the black men out because the black men, frankly, I'm sorry, black men are bitches. I'm tired of black American men being bitches. The guys had the biggest muscles, big arms. None of that power is leveraged into economic empowerment or real power, or even order in the family. So I can break your jaw, I can do a drive-by shooting and do all this killing and violence, but none of it translates into real manly shit. We don't get we don't see that. Instead of we sneaking through your to, sneak sneak through your back door and mess with your family, but won't well, help your family. No, I'm just saying I see a lot of aggression, I see a lot of tough. I mean, see impressively strong people. And you'll see a bunch of black weightlifters sit up and watch cops beat someone to death and take pictures and tell you I can bench press 1,200 pounds. He, <laughs> well, he must have deserved it. Of, what does all of that mean? Yeah. What does all that mean? What does all that mean, really? So... Um, so let me let me ask you, Doctor Short, is is all that they do? You know, is, is is his resiliency Trump's resiliency? And I I definitely could understand and see the comparison of how he is basically so resilient at all the attacks that they've uh, they've came at him with, and it's like, damn, what yeah, more you going but, what more you gonna do? Well, but the black man is resilient, and and yet. He'll, you'll hear he's no good, he can't do this, he can't do that. He's raising five of your bastards that you you couldn't take care of, and yet he's no good. It's, that's, a, a, and at the same time, you know, Donald Trump has Malena, and if he's seeing someone else, he, he does what he wants to do. Donald Trump isn't under control of women. Donald Trump does not care what he, he and anybody brother. thinks. <laughs> I'm not saying he's always right. I'm saying that Donald Trump acts like a man. And to women who came from homes, I notice if you've noticed this with certain black women, don't have too much space in your voice. And just hearing a male voice in any command position makes them act rude, disrespectful, you, difficult. You they, ain't got to yell. Be, they you don't have to yell. Abide. <laughs> they can't abide a black man having any authority, any just that just drives them nuts. They need to be in charge. They need to have the last word. They need to have everything the way that they want it. I mean, and any because they've been given 
this unnatural privilege. And um, actually, um, Joe Biden, who that black women support, has actually, <laughs> it's on his, 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 his watch, his administration, that has, that is destroying the black matriarchy. <laughs> it's, it's crazy that the black matriarchy, this pork chop feminism, this like this, what I call die or diversity, equity, and all this other crap, right? That the, that's being destroyed while Biden's president and not only that, all these migrants coming into the country, right? All of these guys come from countries where, what, you had seven, eight, nine million, mostly men who are used to running things come to the country. All, yeah, all, if we're 330 some odd million people, roughly 3% of the population of this country are these new men who come from cultures where women aren't in charge. There's going to be a large number of American women, if they hook up with these guys and or these guys through chain immigration, are going to increase their ranks of subordinate women. The demographics in this country are going against feminism. I think uh, it's going against this uh, silly game that a lot of black women are on that they're going to get knocked off the horse. And it's interesting. It won't be black men that yoke black women. It's going to be the men that they respect and the asses that they kiss. And white women are going to knock, and Latino women, they're going to stop black women in the coming next two to, to t 10 years. And it's going to be a, a shock. Not only that, Things like artificial intelligence, a lot of the stuff, the jobs and things that were almost oriented towards uh, women, in particular, a lot of our black women serve, service stuff, that's going. The Somebody's going to need somebody else human. <laughs> so a lot of the stuff men may do, auto repair, things. Women don't do a lot of the stuff where you don't, where AI is going to take a while before it can do that. This stuff is going to hit our sisters hard. Donald Trump is a throwback. The man whose woman is behind him, he cheats, he can't say anything. They don't like that. And they also don't like that Donald Trump has had an influence in the culture. There's no ifs, buts, and ands about it. Donald Trump has made an impact. You do not have to like him. There are things about him that I may not like. But Donald Trump is a force. He's shown, like I said, resiliency, power. He doesn't care. He's got his own money. He makes his own rules. He says what he thinks. He's not politically correct. He's like, I guess, uh, you're in Scranton. He's like Ralph Crandom from The Honeymooners. <laughs> um, someone's talking about this cult in this note. Donald Trump doesn't have a cult. See, the um, thing the thing about it is that Biden has a cult. When you think the about Democrats all of the cult, when you uh, when, when you think Donald about Trump all the propaganda, propaganda, all of that propaganda, they they tell you, oh, the Central Park, the Exonerated Five, the Central Park guys, mm -hmm. the the MAGA cult, the he's race. Nobody. This is political theater. People got to understand the difference between political theater and factual stuff. Mm -hmm. And when we speak, when Dr. Short and we talking about resiliency, you, you got to understand that no politician has been through more, and he's not a politician in the, in the, in the real sense, but no, Dave pulled out all the stops to try to stop this man from winning, uh, winning, to, to the next election. So much so that they even tried to forcibly circumvent the Constitution by taking them off the ballot, a federal ballot, and the, the Supreme Court had to step in. Yeah, well, they're, they're not going to get Donald Trump off the ballot. And they're not going to bring, um, 
they're not going to bring um they're not going to bring this stuff back they're not going to bring back abortion this stuff is over and by the way a lot of these black women are stepping up uh, trying to like move up the ladder and um and in reality uh uh trump represents a return to um to the culture that uh that used to exist where basically men you know acted like free people instead of folks walking around always nervous about what someone else thinks or how someone else feels this has to be a a a problem so i'm going to say to you donald trump is is white kevin samuels and the same way that the uh, black women were very angry with kevin samuels very angry with kevin samuels um uh they wanted him dead these women want donald trump dead donald trump's not going anywhere donald trump short of them imploding this country and them hurting him he's going to have a political comeback like nobody's seen and if he has having learned being in the white house and learning government and how unfair and great He's gonna have his people in in a way that he didn't have before. And a lot of people are gonna have hell to pay. I actually think the uh, there's gonna be a lot of people who are gonna catch hell from, the, from Trump when he's in. And it's not gonna be the kind of persecution like when he said a bloodbath and he's talking about business, right? He's not talking about killing people. If Donald Trump had been the monster that people claimed he was, he wouldn't have left power. Okay, so you don't think that uh, black women hate Donald Trump. Um, Nia, then where are all these people coming from? I'm thinking, why not... uh, if Donald Trump is such a sexist pig, I'm not saying he is, why isn't it white women the face of the attacks on Trump instead of black women? I mean, Joy Reid, Whoopi Goldberg. Latita uh, James. Letitia Fanny James, Willis. Fanny, I mean, all of these, I don't care what you're saying. The optics of it is that black women are part of the system to attack a populist leader that a lot of people like and some of the things that have been done against trump have been illegal they have been bogus they have been wrong and it's very i'm thinking about the black woman judge in illinois who said that illegals have the right to have guns in Illinois where they've made it almost impossible for law abiding blacks to have guns in Chicago, to protect themselves from gangster city like Chicago. And yet an illegal who came here, who could have been a mass killer, has a right to a gun. I hate to say this, but there's not one other demographic of judges that have come up with such an insane idea. That's just, just, it's, when I heard the ruling, I says, oh my God, a black woman, damn, damn. Why do they keep doing this? And who do you think is, since black women are so unprotected as the black feminists say, what's crazier than a black woman saying that people in the country unlawfully, where they have a record, of rape and all this stuff not being punished the same way as here, that they have the right to guns. When black women are disproportionately trafficked and other things, why would you want any group of men that have mass broken the law, have weaponry and they're being settled in communities with large numbers of black female single-headed households? 
I mean, you have to have shit for brains to do this. And I'm saying a lot of these black democratic women have shit for brains. They're absolutely stupid. And honest, and, 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 and they're going to be harmed. And, and there will be nothing that anybody can do to help them. And honestly, and when you it's, when, shame, when, it's it's a damn shame that they can't see it. And frankly, uh, I'm thinking about they're going to be black men expected who 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 have been opposed to having firearms by black women in in politics and in the justice system because they're anti guns. They're going to ask black men to die protecting them from armed illegal men in the country. And I, I get it. Fuck us. We don't matter. That's that has a price, and it's going to be an expensive price. And I've been warning about this for five or six years. I can see this thing coming. Did you see the thing down in Jacksonville uh, uh, on, on a beach? Yes. Remember, I told you I had a dream about black folks getting killed on the beach. That, 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 that a whole bunch of black folks going to get killed some beach somewhere down south. I've been saying, God, we need to grab stock of the times that we're in. Why would anybody got Miami Beach that says, we don't want you down here? I'm not saying people can't go to the beach. That's not what I, I don't want the beach to segregate. No, I'm saying that there is a group of people that don't think of all ages, sometimes highly educated with nice jobs that do incredibly stupid things and it carries consequences. Fannie Willis, it they've stripped out six of the charges against Trump and his and the people that they, they did the RICO on. If they all get off, uh let's say let's say they get convicted. I have my doubts about that. But if they none of them get convicted and the public's money was spent on this garbage, a large number of people are gonna be very, 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 very Fanny, angry. And, and you Willis, know, there's someone running against- A correspondence on CNN. <laughs> yeah, but no, no, she'll probably be on CNN. The question is, is you know, of what will she be doing? Giving relationship advice because she absolutely doesn't, uh, hasn't done her job properly. And it predates now that she's been horrible to black people. All of a sudden she's this hero after messing over black men and women doing nothing about the jails and the things that where people die and get eaten by bed bugs. And you, you gotta get Trump. And you just say, man, um, Atlanta's one of the centers of human trafficking. That means it's black women being sold like slaves, as slaves. Nothing, not a damn thing. It's, it's, I can't point to one thing that these loudmouth black feminist types do for black women, other than pushing abortion, trans, and other stupid stuff evil stuff and black women have become the face of it uh nia they have and nobody talks i mean i talk like i do i don't care how people feel eventually uh once this election is over and people don't have to pander they don't have to pander to to the black women voters if trump wins and god forbid if they steal it and people are angry. I, I've been saying this for a while. Uh, if you've ever studied American race relations or studied group dynamics, when people are oppressed, they go after things that represent the cause of their anger. All of these black women featured over and over again the last four years, I'm telling you, the kind of things that could happen are horrific, and it, it will I don't want it to happen. I, out of compassion, I don't want anybody harmed, beaten, killed, whatever. But you know, it's interesting. 
my compassion comes across as since I'm saying, hey, cool it, I'm being what patriarchal or bullying or denying women freedom of expression. I'm thinking, don't get yourself hurt. You know, didn't you have a mom that would advise you, Brother Quentin, how not to do this? It's interesting when it comes down to advice. Uh, our women think they're the only ones that have something wise to say. And it's insane. Men have wisdom too. You know, it's interesting. It's feminism. It's, it's actually got the women acting like the wife be the wife be the shirt wearing husband that drinks with the beer out the can. Now the a lot of these black women act like uh asshole men from the 50s. And yet they want the same treatment as, <laughs> as, as you know, they want gentlemanly treatment when they act like gentlemen. And anyone suggest anything like, hey, look, uh, there's a social contract for that treatment. They say, why should there be? And therefore, we're in trouble. And I'm saying to you that these ignorant people like this judge, uh, I forget Johnson's second last name. Uh, they're going to support these illegals being law enforcement officers. I I can assure you um, that that's going to be abused. I, I don't know how much, but it's going to be abused. And I assure you that part of the abuse of authority is mistreating women. If people stay here long enough, they're going to learn that they can get away with doing certain things to certain people. Hint, hint. Uh, black people are going to catch hell. Black people are going to catch hell. And black people includes uh, black women. Well, you, Man, can't, tell, you can't tell them that. They think they're uh, exempt from, from, the, uh, from, from what may happen. And, and actually putting the whole black community, as we like to say, in harm's way because they choose and want to be the face of what what's the what what is the end game? My thing is what's the end game? What what like what are you trying to prove? Um I think they're trying to prove that they're men. Oh yeah. They, but but I, being a that, man, being a man one, comes with the cost. That's one of the things I hear sometimes. Well, we wouldn't have to display our masculine energy if men was be stepping up. <laughs> well, men, but when men step up, then there's pushback against that too. In reality, there's nothing a man can do right. Man, this thing is crazy. This is telling me one of my streams is off. Yeah, yeah, angry black man. You're right. It ain't gonna be nobody's fault but their own. It's a it's a very interesting thing, um, and I know that Dr. Short, you guys have been has been saying this for years, has been saying this is what's gonna happen, and we see it. Uh I, I actually had a conversation with a young lady I'm I'm real cool with, and she said to me, What does Fanny Willis personal life got to do with the case? And I said, do you realize in the courthouse it is, in the courtroom, there is some things called ethics? Oh, but that, but that's a convicted felony. I said, Donald Trump has never been convicted of a felony. See, this is where the, 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 the media, it's a game that goes on. So you got a lot of people that say all this stuff about Trump and, you know, I'm uh I don't know what he is or what he isn't. And I don't know what you don't even know what be true. Most of the clips that they use mm -hmm. um don't be the full context of his statements. Most well, people they never they, they, they never do that. They never go don't even have that. the time that because the him mainstream with, media doesn't do yeah. the full time. Mainstream media, I worked in it for a while. Oh wow, they're messing with my streams. Mm, mm, mm. I told you stranger things, Dr. Short. Yeah, my stream kept cutting off and finally just yanked the whole thing out. And uh, by the way, you won't believe it. After all is said and done, after all was said and done, it said I had 3,000 views. Are you understanding? 
<laughs> you understand what's going on here, right, Don? Yeah. I, I hope you get it. Uh, people think that um, that that, uh, but but this. I want to ask you, what are you thinking about? Uh, what's her name? Uh, Candace Owens. Oh. Dr. Short, I, I'm one of them people. I've I've never really listened to Candace Owens. Usually, I try to give anybody the benefit of the doubt, and I listen to their whole broadcast. I I believe that a lot of times Candace Owens, she has a lot of people triggered. She she triggers people. Um. Well, that's because her job of, to trick. Yeah, and, that, and that's her job to do. I think that um, when you look at Candace Owens' background, and some people talk about when she needed the NWACP's help, about what happened to her, about some racial stuff, mm -hmm. people don't understand. Excuse my language, Dr. Short, and you never heard me talk like this. That's the NWACP's fucking job to help black people. I, I don't know. I don't think the NAACP's job is to help. No, they don't do it. <laughs> the NAACP's job is to help colored people. Yeah, colored people. Okay, so, so the NAACP is a um, the NAACP is 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 conflicted. Uh, it has always been conflicted, and it, it was started by it's it's not a black organization. And I, and and, and which, we're dealing with. I wish people would would and in, in dealing with Candace, Doctor Short. No, she's been making her rounds media, and you hear a lot of these people who are black who say they're Democrat. Everybody always say, "Oh, I want a debater. I want a debater. I wish she'd come on my show, a debater." I believe Candace will run circles around most people. Really, I, when you think I about think it, that Candace Owens would would not run circles around people that that it, first and foremost have you ever met i've met candace owens i didn't get the feeling that candace owens was comfortable around black people mm. my feeling is just that candace owens has handlers and all that i mean you gave her charlemagne to god why not let some other people uh talk Okay, and by the way, you heard she got fired by what's that? Yeah. Uh, she, look, I'm not saying that a lot of stuff she says. Some of it, you know, I I, I can hear, her, but a lot of it, you know, who's her brain? How do you make a mistake of saying that uh, what Hitler wanted to do for Germany was fine? He wanted to take it everywhere. I mean, who told you that? I mean, what was fine with Hitler, basically the Nazis killed one million Germans. One million Germans were killed by the Nazis. So she's saying, was that good for Germany? Was that good for 300,000 people that were euthanized, the people that were sterilized, um, the blacks that were destroyed? She she's she's she isn't. I know a lot of people much sharper than Candace Owens. She's serving someone's interest. She's saying certain things uh, I can see, but there are other things like you know the Candace Owens is opposed to reparations. Mm -hmm. Candace Owens is against student debt being canceled, but then her ass dropped out of college. Maybe that's why she doesn't care about uh, people getting that. Uh, I, I see Candace Owens as someone who was uh, who's being pushed to be a voice for black people. And that's interesting. There is no singular voice for white people. That, you, you, I, mean, you, I hate this, that there's some, there's, we're talking, the lowball numbers of black Americans is 50 million people. And there's more than that because all kinds of people pass and so forth. 
how can one person speak for everyone? No college degree, your husband's white, I believe a white foreigner, half of your family is from another country, you're, or, or you're from either the Virgin Islands or someone in the Caribbean. I think they're American, but the Caribbean Americans with a different culture. I had a girlfriend that was from the Virgin Islands, and there's a difference. Okay, absolute difference. In my grandmother's lifetime, the Virgin Islands belonged to Denmark. Whole different culture, right? So, listen, it's 107 years ago the United States bought the Virgin Islands from Denmark, I think in 1917. So, for several hundred years, those people were under Danish people. They don't have the same experience as Black Americans, and I'm not, I am not, I'm not. I'm not That's saying short. anybody is bad from anywhere. I'm saying Candace Owens speaks for herself. She has a right to her opinion. Something she says makes sense. Something she, like if she talks about trans and all that, I don't disagree. A man can't have a child. But it's interesting. They don't allow one black man to have the same access to reaching the public. It's another, she's another example of black women being made the face of all black people. And there's no one white woman that represents all white people. Uh, I'll tell you, Marjorie Taylor Greene, to me, is the white Candace Owens. And a lot of times I agree with Marjorie Taylor Greene, not all the time, but sometimes she's dead on it. But she can't represent all white people or all white women. So it shows a, a great disrespect and the black women that are out here Trump hating and MAGA hating. It's not all, but it's too damn many. They're, they are helping to drive a very destructive process uh, without thinking about it. It may feel good. You may get paid. You may be the center of attention, you may get celebrated, you're being used. Candace Owens, this stuff where she's been called an anti-Semite, I don't think Candace Owens knows how serious that is. <laughs> I know what it's like to get called and labeled as an anti-Semite. I didn't even say anything about people that were Jewish. Okay, I didn't say anything about Israel for the thing that they got mad about. I saw about the judiciary in the state of Florida after Trayvon Martin's uh, killer did not get convicted. Um, do you know that if I simply said the judiciary in Florida is corrupt and they said that was anti-Semitic. Um, <laughs> Candace Owens saying stuff about Israel and so forth that she has the right to without understanding just because they'll let you ride roughshod on black people doesn't mean that they're going to let you mess over Jewish in, people. In, in the infamous words of Paul Mooney, you're going to have your nigga wake up call. <laughs> well, I mean, Tiger Woods, I told people for years, Tiger Woods was a state trooper away from finding out he was black. When he had that problem uh, years ago, I think in Florida, he got arrested. And when they were in court and they described this group and they said black or African-American, he didn't say, no, I'm Cablin Asian. Tiger Woods has been a different man since he was once he got the criminal charges treatment. He's been black ever since. <laughs> okay, and I said he's a state trooper. Candace Owens is a mob of angry people, white, coming after her, away from finding out that she's black. Okay, and I, I'm I. There's a lot of people, Maxine Waters. There are a lot of people who don't completely get what's happening. And what I say for Maxine Waters is. 
you think that you can like mess over people. So you've got two, you've got it on the right and you've got on the left people who are not doing diligence to help um, advance things. And I'll say this about Trump. Remember a lot of people and the shutdown that Biden extended Trump was sending out stimulus checks. Biden, inflation, gas, everything went up. And Biden wouldn't give out anything. As much as they called Trump stingy or chinchy, Trump at least got checks out. Biden didn't put anything out for the ordinary people. Biden cut off helping people that were renting. And inflation, everything went up, and he didn't have provided. You know, you know, you know what the pushback they tried to say for that was, Doctor Short. Oh, Trump just wanted his name on a check. <laughs> like, come on, like, well, come on. But who cares? I don't care if Donald Trump wanted his name on the check. Did it help someone? If 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 a vanity project helped the giver. If the person who's going to allocate money felt good that their name was associated with doing something that the American public needed, D Biden wants credit for things he's never done. Biden wants credit for the low prices for insulin that he 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 overturned Donald Trump reducing the price on drugs to save lives. Then. For re-election, I'm sorry, for the midterms, he comes back and does what Trump did. He wants the full credit right now for undoing for several years, two years, what Trump put in to help people. He said and, he's closed the wealth gap, too. Well, of course he's closed the wealth gap because so many people are dying from all these, you know, what else? <laughs> Lots of people dying. I, I think I have a cousin who's Muslim that may, may have passed. It's the second one in the same family. I'm wondering now, so that's two people dead in about a month's time. If you're seeing all these people dying and there's no discussion and there's suppression and if you say anything, they attack you. You know, I saw something talking about... Um, talk that talk, Ebony. She said, it, greetings, as a black female Chicagoan, I voted for Trump last election and will again. Thanks. I'm voting for Trump, too. I Look, I I didn't vote in the primary here in D.C., and I'm I, I'm glad I, I Nick Nookie Haley got D.C. It's, it's stupid, but I'm voting for Trump in the general election. Uh, if if they take him off your ballot, write Trump in any way. Uh, I don't care what anyone tells you. And let's just take a few minutes. You know, the reason I reached out to you, Brother Q, is that that incredible liar, Karen Plunger on oh. Sirius Radio, or AKA Karen Hunter, this liar, this liar, despicable, mannish, feminist, uh, leftist running dog, Karen Plunger, on unserious radio. She hates Donald Trump so much that she lied and said that Donald Trump was responsible for the measles outbreak in this country. That's damn ridiculous. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump is not responsible for the measles outbreak in this country. The person that's responsible is Kamala Harris, Mr. Mallorca, and Joe Biden, and Chucky Schumer and all the other uh, people who've left the border open. Donald Trump is not responsible. Of all the things you could have said about Donald Trump, uh, Lake and Riley's murder has nothing to do with Donald Trump. The illegals murdering and raping and kidnapping and stealing and home invading has nothing to do with Donald Trump. Somebody tell silly Karen Hunter that just because you like Biden doesn't mean that you have to lie on Trump. You can hate Trump. 
You can dislike Trump for what he's objectively done that you disagree with. But you can't take this despicable gutter, degenerate record of Biden and put it on Trump to burnish Biden's image. I mean, we have a president, Biden, with Blinken, that degenerate in the State Department, where they're forcing sodomy on African countries. The Chinese offer infrastructure, the Russians offer troops, America offers abortion and sodomy. What a great way to influence people and make friends is to force sodomy to the point where the president of Ghana, uh, Aku Adudu, that's how I pronounce it. And he's, he's more than a doo-doo, he's a shit. Doesn't even want to sign the legislation that the Ghanaian parliament has passed to tap down on the LGBTQ madness there. And he's saying he doesn't want it to come to his office when it's his duty to either veto or sign a, a law. But you, the thing is, is he can't veto it because the entire Ghanaian, 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 Ghanaian parliament wants to make certain that Ghana is not like Fire Island or South Beach. <laughs> okay, so uh, you know what I'm saying? So, but in order to get aid under, under Biden, you have to be for trans molesting kids in school or you can't get foreign aid. They're, they're attacking Uganda. They're pushing LGBTQ in Tanzania. They forced the government of Mozambique to become LGBTQ supporting and Guinea-Bissau and they're forcing all, they won't do one thing about poverty or water, um, um, or, or, or water treatment or, 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 or sanitation or malaria or tuberculosis or maternal, maternal death, but they're pushing abortion, depo provera, and, 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 uh, and, and, and LGBTQ, trans on Africa. Africans who are living on a dollar a day will not be able to afford to get double mastectomies and get their penises whacked off. But then again, Bill Gates and them probably gonna have money if it's cutting black dicks off and black boobs. I guess they'll find the money. Just like they find money for the Ukraine to, <laughs> for people to die over in Europe or they find money for Israel. And when it's a war, when it's hurting people, there's so much money. But when there's an opportunity to make a difference, to improve people's lives, even American lives, why isn't there some money for America? Why are veterans being put in the streets for illegals? Why are veterans committing suicide? How could this happen? And uh, you know, the rate of suicide for black veterans, um, you know, the the issue for African veterans, black American veterans. They have a rate of suicide almost 600 times that of white veterans. Someone, someone asked you, Dr. Short, <clears throat> what is your perspective on the alleged terror attacks in Russia? I'm confused as to where were the top notch security detail? Well, um, well, you can be confused, and uh, the Ukrainians already promised within the last two weeks that they were gonna step up terror inside of Russia. Anybody that knows anything about military science knows that you can't be strong everywhere. So you have a country fully mobilized that's fighting a war against much of the Western world. The Russian government is fighting NATO and the United States and other countries. Um, why would they expect a terror attack? The Russians aren't doing terror attacks inside Ukraine. They could have ended this war with, with tactical nuclear weapons or even, they could do a lot more. Uh, Putin's not really trying to smash the Ukraine. He really could do it. They really could do this. Um, this is a uh, link to, they want terror in Russia. These people need a war, the economy in America and in other countries is collapsing. 
Germany's in trouble, England's in trouble, France is in trouble, Spain is in trouble, Italy's in trouble. So they want a war. And that this thing, I mean, there's there's just no way people mowing down folks in Gaza and uh, attacking uh, and bombing uh, civilians, you know what I'm saying? This just really, 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 really. Gene really Smith, it was something else. Uh... Like Dr. Short just explained about the the, the the terrorist attack in Russia. It was something else, Gene Smith, I want to ask you, that Putin just did that was in the news that really is more significant than what happened with these terrorists. Putin just did something as far as showed something to the public. And I oh, want you to tell to... me. Okay, right. I want you to tell me. And it's important because... We have to understand that we have been told a lot of things about Putin. And he did something very significant that if a person was who they say he was, would have never done what he just did. Mm. Uh, well, Putin's done something else. Putin has decided that terror is going to stop in the Sahel. They're Russian troops there to stop terrorism. And Burkina Faso, and I, I perceive soon it will be Mali and Niger and all the killings and murders of these Western funded terrorist groups in these rich, landlocked African countries are going to stop. Um, Putin isn't perfect. No politician is perfect. Russia's always a, hand, a handful, but uh, Putin is, he just won the election in Russia. Uh, he got a huge support. Um, See, we don't want people to be different. <laughs> America don't want people to be different and, and not a monolith like them. They want they want you to be singular in America, one way of thinking, one way of going about things. Like you're, you know, marching. To, my mother, when she was alive, she loved marching to wooden soldiers. That's what America wants its citizens to be and other countries to be. Just follow orders. Yeah, well, well, well Putin is doing, uh, a lot of Russians like what Putin's doing. Putin's unified the country, the people are standing up. It's far from perfect. But if you saw what, um, uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, that used to be on Fox. Those officers will certainly be the white Nazi Ukrainians that Biden told volunteers were racist. B Biden has never said anything about the Ukrainian soldiers. He's not going to say that they're from the that that racist wing. He he will never admit to that. He's not going to do that. Tucker Carlson showed that the Russians are living better than Americans are. That's scary. When I grew up, I mean, Russians had to work forever to get a pound of bacon, to get a bike or a car, an apartment. You mean now the Russians live better than we do? <laughs> so, yeah, you guys, just to reset the show, uh, is Trump the new black, the new face of black power in America? Well, Trump is the, uh, he is a new, he's a bull in the China closet shaking up what's <laughs> happening. And it's quite incredible. You know, we, we should understand something. I understand where uh, uh, these people are afraid they won't be able to kill babies. They're not going to be able to just get, you know, hack off the breast of children and put people on home. The really crazy, freaky, degenerate liberals are mad. And Trump didn't even press hard. Trump wasn't bothering them. Jared Kushner and his and his wife, Ivanka, Donald Trump's daughter, they basically uh, tempered. Trump didn't really go on any crazy tangents against people around the culture. But the people are afraid that they don't completely support. I don't get this feeling uh, that Trump's out there attacking everybody, but they make it such that it's a thing. 
it's like the old bo- it's like the old boogeyman theory. They still telling you about the boogeyman, but you know boogeyman, uh, the boogeyman asked, never showed his it, face. Somebody asked if uh, Trump. Hey, Mark, be a moderator for me down here. I'm going to ask you to be a moderator. There are a lot of a uh, lot of nuts tonight. Uh, so thanks, Mark. If you see anybody do anything really stupid, someone asked about Trump and Epstein Island. I don't know, but there's a list of people that were on Epstein's Island and nothing's been done about it. There are people on television. Oprah Winfrey's gone. The Clintons have gone. Uh, uh, Ghislaine Maxwell is asking to be released from prison. She'll probably get it from Biden. Ghislaine Maxwell's father worked with uh, the Israeli government. She'll probably get it with Biden. He'll probably pardon her if 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 Biden loses. He's going to pardon Ghislaine Maxwell. Watch. Remember, I said it. Watch Biden pardon Ghislaine Maxwell. That'll let you know why he sniffs on children. <laughs> you guys in the chat remember to like share subscribe the best way to support the channel is to support the channel so, uh you guys dr shorts cash app information is on the screen you know uh make a donation become a member of his channel you know the bit like i always say the, this stuff don't run on air White it's, man. Hard, it, it's hard. It took us a long time just to come on live, and it was some strange things going on, you guys. I mean, hey, Leo, strange things happen. So remember to like, I, share, subscribe to, to both channels as well. I agree. Um, but I'm not certain if Epstein was killed. I heard that Epstein is in Israel. Uh, you know, at some point, we're going to have to look at this relationship, this unique relationship between Israel and the United States. We're going to have to look at that one day. We're going to have to ask, why are we hiding the records on Kennedy's assassination? I mean, 60 years later, we half the people are dead. What is it that we can't know about the assassination of the American president? Okay. Is it the Levon affair? Is it true that Israel got the nuclear weapons and Kennedy was against it and that's why it got whacked? Would that make the American public angry? Maybe it would. Could that be it? I remember as a kid, Dr. Short, all they talked about was the Warren Commission. The Warren White Commission is up. It's up. Wait till the Warren Commission. You can finally open up the files. It was a big thing. My mother told me as a kid, when you get older, make sure you pay attention to the Warren Commission when they finally open up what happened. <laughs> no, because it's it's bad. At some point, we'll see. And we'll RFK see. said if he becomes president, he's gonna he's gonna bust that can of worms. Yeah, but RFK is not gonna become president. Uh, Just Eve, how are you? By the way, Brother Negro, how are you? Um, I don't know. Do you think you could send Brother Negro a link? Yeah. Send him a link. Maybe he can come in. Uh, And I don't know how many people up on here. Okay, there are 38 people here. Hi, everybody. And of course, you know, this is the Angry Black Men's Book Club. We, with, uh, 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 let's talk to, we haven't done something in months. That's what said we have to do this. So we're going to probably rock for another hour or so. Um, do you ever listen to Karen Hunter? Let's talk I, about Karen I, Hunter. You know, you know, you know, Dr. Short, when you first mentioned her to me this week, I forgot that she was the same person that does the stuff with Dr. Carr. And then you sent me that clip and, I'm, and I hear her talking about, uh, Agenda 2025, which is the Heritage, the Heritage Foundation, Foundation what they want to do for 2025. Some people say this is Trump, but really it has nothing to do with Trump, but these are supporters of Trump. And I went into I went into reading some stuff about her about Agenda 2025 prior to this. And what I noticed is that 
what what they want to do is basically flood the federal government with their people, which is nothing illegal. If you got people that like you, and they well, want to take Obama has flooded it with his people, and they want to the take money. And and she and she mentioned it. They want to do one of the things that they want to do is they want to take money from people who. When you go against the federal government, they want to say access. You 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 do something in the state level, and it'll cut off your access to federal funding. Which really, when you think about it, this is what has always gone on. This is why. Um, and 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 what would Trump tried to do the thing with the churches and, and the politics, where yeah, talking about the. Um faith initiative yes uh, yes um i can't remember offhand but you guys in the chat may remember or dr short may remember but he he trump was trying to do something because what happens is for example religious organizations in this country in order to get federal money you have to be pro abortion be pro lgbtq that to start with Obama. Yeah. And so uh it's it's really, really something. So so I know, you know, I really don't speak about religion myself. Dr. Short is a, is a, is a, is a minister as well as this is his background. But when you Some start when you start doing stuff that comes and dealing with your congregation, so you so you guys that's into religion, um if you want to know why your pastor may not be saying nothing to certain things or maybe compromising their belief and even imams do it. I know it's one master that I know in Long Island where, where, basically, where basically it's ran by a bunch of women, a bunch of women that like women. And nobody can say nothing because they, they're inclusive. And it seems as if it's all of these uh, unnatural feminists that are attacking Trump. You let Roland, Roland, tell Roland I just text him. Stra all these strap on toting broads that hate Trump. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I text, I text Negro the, um, the link. Okay. So Negro got a link if he wants to come in. Uh, I see Sister Eve there. Hey, how you doing? Again, white man to you. Actually, do she want to come in? Uh, Eve, do you want to participate? Or uh, maybe she's just like chilling. <laughs> uh, you know, it's and let me see. We're gonna go what? Let's stop it too, because I've got stuff to do in the morning. But uh, at least we got a rhythm back. We have a rhythm back. I want to just say to people, pardon me. I've been a little busy the past couple of days. Also, just a little adjusting. We're gonna be back in the swing. We're gonna be back in the swing, getting stuff done. So this channel. And I, I'm streaming from, at this point, four channels at one time, uh, which is really cool. I look forward to that. Um, yeah, I did say white man. That's my greeting to black women, sir. <laughs> and because a lot of black women like white men. So if you're <laughs> offended by that, um, I'm sorry, you know, you can leave the channel. It's an inside joke. A lot of people, and I say white women to black men, uh, there's a stereotype that we all like people in other races and other groups. So, yeah. I, so I just say, act as if this stereotype is true. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> give him, <laughs> Doctor Short. You gotta give that brother the soft land. You just gotta say white. And once he gets used to you say white, that's what well, you no, say no, no. I, I, I don't, I don't know what that's about, but um, I don't <laughs> care. Uh, people need to have a sense of humor. Um, I think about all the hate and violence, you know, it's interesting. I listen to certain people and when they start talking, all they do is talk down about other groups of people. You know, you start calling people subhuman or you call people that, oh, someone says Karen Hunter's a man. I wouldn't be surprised. How about that? Mm. Okay, that's how I feel. Um, uh, I'm annoyed by Karen Hunter. I think Karen Hunter, that lie she told about measles, that's just 
I worked in journalism for a few years. You don't, you, there's so much you can put out on people. You don't have to lie. You can say Trump gave a tax cut to rich people and that would be true. You could say that Trump didn't get this or that done. He didn't finish closing the border, but you can't say that he outside of office is responsible for the measles outbreak. That's just a lie. That's someone that she's determined to, um, to, to make people hate uh, a presidential candidate. That's 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 unnecessary, and um, I don't really care. And I'm looking at all these very strange people. Uh, let me just say to this person that put this stupid comment up here, my friend, I'm the least of your worries. You need to think about Hezbollah and them having supersonic missiles. That's your real problem. Okay, so how about that? Do you eat supersonic missiles? You just might. And so that's what I have to say to you. And um, see you, don't want to be you. Yeah, I'm going to do salt tomorrow. In fact, I can tell you what I'm going to talk about tomorrow uh, or later today. When we do salt, I'm going to be talking about um, God loves rejects. God is the liberator and lover of rejects. So we're going to be talking about how God is on the side of rejects, that God has something special. So if you are a reject or if you feel like you don't fit in, you're going to like what I'm going to say to you because uh, in our message, God has a purpose. Uh, rejects fit God's bill. Angry angry black man, he's only going to talk about this for a second, all right? Once I put yes. it up on the screen. Oh, what is he talking about? He wants you to talk about Haiti. <laughs> um, well, it's very simple. Uh, if we talk about Haiti, Haiti is uh, huh, it's a very important place. Haiti's in a lot of trouble, both internal and external. There are a range of countries that have uh, conflicts. What I will say of Haiti at this moment is that Haiti achieved democratic and free and fair elections. Uh, I like them both. Free and fair elections with uh, Bertrand Aristide, who was not liked by the United States under President Bush. They used the gangs and all to drive Aristide from power. Aristide was able to get back into office, but they just didn't want him there. He had changed. So Haiti's government has always had outside interference, aside from any internal problems that Haitian society has. Haiti has always been punished for its uh, being a black country that rebelled against a white dominated world. They have an elite that can be raunchy and self-centered. Haiti is dominated by, let's say it, Arabs, Jews, Asians, and crooked light-skinned Haitians who don't care about the majority. Everybody steals from Haiti. The Haitian people suffered. And at the same time, Haiti has enough people in America, if they were sending remittances, and if not that, if the Haitians in the United States organized as a lobby and a constituency for Haiti in a real way, with a coherent, rational plan, and I'll go further, if Haitians weren't so prideful and worked better with Black Americans, they would truly be able to do something for Haiti. Haiti is, the Haitians are very proud. They have some really brilliant people, but in reality, Haiti's got its own inner demons as well as the demons of the Western world. I don't know what to say. I'm looking at the gangs or the so-called gangs that we see in the media, but where'd all those weapons come from? And let us remember that the gangs 
facilitated American policy. So now all of a sudden the gangs were bad. The gangs were good when they wanted to get rid of Aristide. The United States has uh, historically been against Haiti. The United States went broke in the early Republic era, sending as much money and weapons and guns to the French to kill people in Haiti during the Haitian Revolution. Uh, the United States refused to have diplomatic relations with Haiti for 60 years. The United States invaded and occupied Haiti for from about 1915 to about 1931. The United States destroyed the coffee industry in uh, Haiti. The United States destroyed a lot of the land. The United States killed off their pigs. The United States sends unsafe food, unfit for human consumption. The United States has done nothing about the Clintons and others stealing. Almost 96% of the earthquake reconstruction money, the United States allows organ harvesting and every other atrocity to occur. President Barack Obama, who many stupid black people worship, allowed tens of thousands of Haitians to die when they had the earthquake. When aid was being offered from the whole world, Obama wouldn't let them in and let the people die. For all of you who want to make this, uh, there, there are no clean hands for Haiti. Obama is a butcher, he's a monster, and, and stupid, degenerate people like him. Let me just put that out there. So this guy, they're saying barbecue, whatever. Whatever's going on in Haiti, people need to understand that the United States has one of its biggest embassies in the world in Haiti. Haiti's a small country the size of Maryland with a population of 11, 12 million people. Uh, Haiti has iridium. Haiti has gold. Haiti has oil. Haiti is stationed strategically in a place for America to check Cuba as well as control the ingress and outgress or egress of shipping in the Caribbean. They don't want Haiti to exist as a nation. And the United States exactly 200 years ago uh, allowed the French to put a blockade on Haiti to destroy it. The United States is complicit in dividing Haiti into two countries. One is called the Dominican Republic. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of Haitian people of Haitian descent or Haitian Dominican descent that are stateless, who are persecuted, lynched, killed. Nothing is done about it because the United States supports racial conflict and injustice between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Haiti had dictators. In fact, the Haitian guard, the guard that has abused and violated the, uh, <laughs> the, the democracy, the fragile democracy that they had in Haiti, that National Guard was started by the United States the same way the United States started La Guardia Nacional in Nicaragua and wherever they went in and took over and they put in these people. And since we're gonna talk about gang, the Tantan Makuts, which did the bidding of the ruling elite dictators in Haiti, this gang stuff is old. Don't let anybody tell you this is new. And furthermore- and It's ongoing. Hold on, let me say more. The drugs, and arms, this is all connected with the CIA and the Haitian military. They dump the dope in Florida and in our neighborhoods. Haiti's, Haiti is like a black ghetto. If you're familiar with the Kerner Commission report, it said that the ghetto was a creation of white America, not the black people that lived there. A significant part of Haiti's problems are that people hate them. And we need to remember that uh, Haiti, uh, uh, under Obama, Obama systematically blocked legitimate people from having power. Instead, they had a 
a bisexual president who would expose his rectum, walk around in his drawers, uh, this degenerate man who told women that they didn't need uh, uh, safe drinking water because they had water in their pants. This is the kind of president. In fact, Hillary Clinton, a woman named Mills, I'm forgetting Mills' uh, first name, but they systematically undermined free and fair elections in Haiti. Hillary Clinton did it. Um, Obama did it. And under Trump, the same people in the State Department made certain that the Haitians did not get the government that they wanted. So the United States is complicit in this in every way, the corruption and some of the things that they do down there, like stealing children for sexual pleasure for other people. They've built hotels where people can molest kids. They let the UN come in. What did the people do? They would take shits in the drinking water that killed thousands of people. There are over 100,000 bastards of UN soldiers uh, that were in Haiti that don't get any help. Haiti has become a trash bin of foreign interests that hate black people, hate poor people, hate Haitians. And at the same time, you have crooked people who are Jewish, Lebanese, Asians, who it's about 12 families that control all of Haiti. Uh, until I see the gangs attack the billionaires, I won't believe anything. I don't believe any of the news uh, until we get to meet people in Haiti and find out what it is. And we also need to understand the United States allow one of the governments in Haiti for them to steal all the money that Venezuela provided so the people could get uh, inexpensive gasoline and fuel for business and for home use, every which kind of way that Haiti gets something. It gets stolen either by corrupt people within Haiti or stolen by outside players. Again, Haiti has gold, Haiti has oil, Haiti has iridium, Haiti has all kinds of great resources for the Haitian people not unlike people in countries in Africa like Niger, which also has a French situation, these people are not allowed to enjoy the mineral wealth of their countries. That's hey, a big problem. Angry, angry black man. And to um, add on to what Dr. Shore said is that <clears throat> I I grew up in the Northeast, and <laughs> it's probably the second most Haitian area. In the United States, I'm very close with some of White Clef's family members. Mm -hmm. When that earthquake happened and uh, the Clinton Foundation got involved with the relief fund, White Clef had his own separate relief fund. The United States government attacked White Clef and said that he was stealing money. White Clef didn't have to steal money. They broke his back, figuratively. Yeah, but, but Whitecliffe worked with the CIA. Yeah, they broke his back. And then if you look at what happened, and, and, and me and Dr. Short have been talking about Haiti, and I'm going to just say this. The Haitian Americans are very quiet on this. And you know why they're quiet? Because they're attached to whiteness. They don't care about that place. They're an no, American they don't. now. That's they don't why care. I, that's why I said there are enough Haitians here to turn stuff around. They're enough to put pressure here, to really do stuff. I want to do a shout out to my friend, an, an octogenarian by the name um, by the name of Raymond Fontroy, who lives in Miami. It's black Americans that got the Haitians out of the concentration camps in the early 80s. The Haitians have never said thank you. They forgot. Ray gave up everything to help only when they want something. And so, hey, um, this man should be set for life. They do. They do. They do what black people. They do what black Americans do. Some of them. 
they, they you, you'll hear some Haitian Americans and they'll say they're trying to call Port de Prince or call other places to find out about their family members. But the reality is that they're in America, they don't care. They don't care. They're here. They and I'm not trying to put a stereotype on them. They're driving cabs, they're living the American dream, they're having 2.5 kids, they got a picket fence. They could care less about what goes on in, as they say, in that poor country. They, end up, they live in the American dream now. You know, yeah. someone's asking. Black, you're right, they are quiet on Twitter, but they're quiet everywhere. Like, where is that Ronald McDonald looking hussy? Who's with uh, with with Biden? That she hasn't said. You have a Haitian who's a national press spokesperson for the president. You haven't heard one statement from her about Haiti. You're not going to. Now I got asked this person that missed it. Kevin Samuels was a patriarch. Donald Trump's a patriarch. There's certain things that Donald Trump did and does that a lot of feminists don't like. Black feminists don't like Donald Trump because he's a patriarch. Kevin Samuels was a patriarch. That's the link. Donald Trump is the white Kevin Samuels. Um, someone's saying to me, they don't care uh, the most, but they don't care about children. I can't tell you how people feel about their children, but what I can say is the Haitian American community has hundreds of thousands of people. If they harnessed their, their resources, they could make an impact here in the United States to help Haiti. Quick, uh, quick. They, they really can do that. I hope they do it. I have Haitian cousins. I don't know if I told you that. DNA family. I don't want anybody miserable. I don't want folks suffering, but it, it's left to people to become part of the solution to their problems. Those, those in the United States could do a lot more to help people back in Haiti. It, it hasn't happened. It really should. It really could. And I'm going to say one thing, and I'm going to make a lot of people mad, and I don't care. A lot of what happens to people is connected to what people believe. A lot of Haitians are very proud of voodoo or voodoo, and it's just the perfect way of life and scientific religion. If voodoo is so great and so powerful and so wonderful, it should have come up with an instrument and a means to transform the lives of Haitian people. So I'm looking and uh, if Haiti, and I'm not talking about things outside of control of Haitian people being under uh, pressure from outside nations that have been against Haiti, but within Haiti, if this voodoo couldn't get these people to boycott a handful of recently arrived foreigners to hijack the whole economy. If Voodoo can't deal with some drug gangs, if Voodoo can't harness and get people to share their money and do stuff, then voodoo is part of the problem. You can tell a tree by its fruit. If voodoo is so wonderful and great and it's some African retention, well, damn it, if the African retention doesn't bring comfort, relief, some sort of transformation in the lives of its adherents, it must not be about that much. Okay, so I'm going to simply say, frankly, a lot of people that leave Haiti, my friend, uh, that I've run across a few, a lot of the Haitians that come to America uh, have given up on Haiti because of voodoo because of a, a culture at, look certain people have subcultures or they have traits within their culture that are negative that are terrible you get what they have traits in their culture 
it, it, it's sort of like, I don't know if you're aware, but throughout the Islamic world, brother, were, were you aware of all the people that marry girls as young as seven, eight, ten years old? There's certain cultures where people marry, the, and these girls marry adult men. And that's the culture. And some of those girls die as a result of having sex with adult men. You, I, I don't live there. I have no standing in there. I think it's a horrible thing. But that's what they got. That's what they do. And you can't change it. If the people want to cut a part of the clitoris off and do FGM, female genital mutilation, if that's their culture, you 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 better get out of there and leave. That's just the way you know, it's going to be. And, 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 and Dr. Short, I'm glad you mentioned, you mentioned that because – People that believe in, 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 in God and people that believe in religion will always tell you if you want to you want to know the condition of a people, you gotta first look at them the people. So we, you know, uh, angry black man asked about Haitians. Haitians need to reassess themselves. Haitians need to look at themselves. Definitely the Haitian Americans, like I told you, I know a lot of them. I, I'm friend, I'm I'm very close friends with. Um, a big family that has a uh, huge family in Port-au-Prince. Uh, my friends, uncles, fathers, they own big homes on the beaches down in uh, Jersey Shore, cab companies, restaurants, they huge family. And I'm telling you, if I was to talk to him and ask him about what's going on, he'd tell me, he's like, I don't care about the people over there. Now, he's Haitian, but he'll tell you. Well, because of the Haitian elite, they 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 don't care. There, people need to understand that this idea of compassion for the poor and all of this that often comes out of your religious beliefs, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, you've got zakat and Islam. I. I don't know if they have Zakat and Vudan. I suspect that they don't. Uh, you've got uh, Koinonia in Christianity. I suspect in Vudan that they don't. And so in cultures where I will just say Jamaica, they have an expression for people. You've heard it. Born for dead, right? The very poor Jamaicans the ones who are a little higher up on the food chain call them born for dead. It means dead before they were born. Yeah, and and, in other and, words, these are expendable people who don't matter. And that is the reality in Africa and a lot of other places with black folks. Please don't just say, oh, white people, white people. No. People who are doing well oftentimes don't care anything about people now, that aren't. Now, really angry cool. black man, you, you mentioned Kodak Black said the same thing. He would never go to Haiti. Now, you got to realize, Kodak Black is sec second-generation Haitian. Kodak Black has been pardoned by former President Trump. Kodak Black has access. This is what we're talking about. Kodak Black is of the, of the, the cream of the crop, definitely from his own career or his family. So when you look at Kodak Black and why he's saying that, he means it. He definitely means that. He, he don't care. And, and with his celebrity, he could bring light to what's going on in Haiti. They, they don't do it. Busta do Rhymes. It. This is Busta Rhymes Haitian. No, he, he's Jamaican, but you got football players that's Haitian. White Clef. You got you got thousands of celebrities. We, who we've got. They are don't Haitian. care. They don't they care. They don't care. They don't care. And we're gonna stop in a second. Uh, just for station identification, this is Dr. Randy Short with Brother Q. He's of Let's Talk To, and I'm of the Angry Black Men's Book Club. Uh, and, of course, if you like us, like, subscribe, share. If you like uh, and you can support, you can always uh, hit a cash app. I'm uh, Dr. Ra Dollar Sign, Dr. Randy Short, PayPal, wrandyshort at gmail.com. We're going to be doing more. We we were doing this in tandem, and then the weather, and 
illness and everything came up yeah. and we stopped. So this is the first one in what three months? It's been it's been about three months, and hopefully mm -hmm. hopefully tomorrow night we'll 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 get together and do something. Mm -hmm. um, also, Pat talk is this Sunday at eight o'clock. Mm -hmm. um, Doctor Short wasn't able to join us last week for Pat talk, but you know he's. Yeah, the, I mean, the co host of Pat Talk. I'll be joining Pat Talk this week a little later, but uh, we plan to do it. And we we ask everybody to like, share, subscribe to all the channels, like, share, Wolf, subscribe, and Chef C. And what, what we want to do, and what we've been trying to do, is really trying to get um, people to understand objective black media. None of us are affiliated to political parties, and Political parties have a way of, if you're affiliated to, has a way of not having you be objective. Right. And we tr we're so. trying to be the most objective individuals um, that we could possibly be. Um, although and everybody needs to know, I, I'm voting for Trump. <laughs> I, I every I don't care. I'm voting for Trump. 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 And make Trump, sure you check my Trump, community Trump, section Trump, out Trump, because Trump. The, the, Trump. The, Trump, the, Trump, the, Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. The Congressional Black Caucus I has, to go. has uh, rolled out their reparation package for Black Americans going forward. So check it out. Dr. Short sent me the article earlier. So they, the reparations package is here. And the reason why I say reparations package, you guys, they didn't say that. But they, what the CBC did is when you use words like this, when they say we're coming out with an agenda to close the wealth gap, that means this is an anti-reparations package because they don't want to use reparations. They're not, they're, they're anti-reparations to CBC. So they Trump, have their reparations package Trump, and look at it in the community Trump, section. Trump, 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 Trump. <laughs> yeah, I don't care who doesn't like it. Trump absolutely <laughs> closed the damn border. And that's absolutely, I mean, my God, uh, anybody that wants to, anybody black that supports Biden is insane. I mean that. You ain't black if you ain't vote for Biden. Uh, you know, you don't like being black if you vote for Biden. I'm not saying <sighs> Trump is perfect, but my God, if you don't know who's moving around, who's in school, uh, these kids are going to spread measles and kill whole communities. I mean, we don't know if you've ever talked to people in California about the diseases in the schools that the kids, I mean, no other country in the world does this. Biden is a monster. I want to, I want to know, and, and, and we'll probably talk about this in the future, you guys, but I want to ask everybody in the chat this question. Maybe you guys can help, help me, please. When these illegals come to um, America, and let make no mistake, they're illegals. They are not illegals. migrants. When these illegals come to God America, bless Donald Trump. When these illegals come to God America, bless Donald Trump. What what asylum are they seeking? The asylum from from rule of law. They don't want to follow anybody's because, law. They need to go back because to all I see is eighteen no. to four, eighteen to forty, eighteen to forty young men. With book it's bags, crooked. crooked. I don't it's see women crooked. and children too much. Crooked, 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 crooked. Donald Trump was was right about us needing. I mean, fentanyl everywhere, uh, people disappearing, finding people in rivers. <laughs> there's a black. There's a black guy in Florida found with his toes sticking out of the ground in Florida. Someone buried him. That's not the way black folks kill people. We're trying well, to shoot well, the person in the body. Well, Dr. Short, we didn't even get a chance to talk about. A, I haven't looked it up. See, now mainstream media kind of like threw this under the rug. But Donald this past Trump. week, we had Trump. this Trump. past week, we had Trump. three, three, three young kids in Houston robbing a bank. I think it was like 13, 14, 15. We we we've got they were my, they were if, they were illegals kids. If Trump does not win, allegedly this country, this country is finished. We're this it's gone. 
Uh, I don't care what anybody says about America. This is your damn home. Yeah. If you get anybody up in here, you won't have a home. And they'll make this place and leave trash everywhere. Uh, it'll be wild. We'll be. It'll be a war zone if you have all this disorder. And Red, Sig Red Sigma, it's key that you said that because anybody can be weaponized. 18 to 50. If you look at, just look, and and, and, I'll, and I'll tell you, go on. Yeah, nobody CNN. likes me. Trump was right. Trump, I mean, just, I'm go sorry. On, go I'm on so any, angry. Go I'm so angry that all they do is attack him. The, well, I got to say this about black people. The only person that's ever done anything wrong, white in the world, is Donald Trump. That's That's damn insane. Kamala Harris did more to hurt black people as attorney general in California than Trump has ever done to black people in all of his life. And, and people think she's cool because she has whores up at the Naval Observatory. In fact, let me give you my joke. What's, what's the thing that Kamala Harris hates the most about having allergies? What? Dry mouth. <laughs> she's a tramp they put that fake tramp she's not even a real black american woman she's a tramp she's a tramp she's a tramp so so you she's guys um... you know what you can say what you want uh melena trump was classy did you hear about the assistant to Jill Biden is this gay guy who goes around looking at the thumbs of people and then speculating on the size of their thumb, the size of their penises. Yeah. That's the person in charge of the staff of, you know, if Melina Trump had had that, what they would have done. Yeah. I mean, I, I, these, th this media, they have their, you know what? Tucker Carlson makes more sense than almost all of the mainstream black media combined. And I don't agree with Tucker Carlson when he talks about race, but some of the other stuff, he's so correct. I, I listen to him and Professor Black Truth. I, and, and all of you guys out there, if you can, we need to coordinate this. I want those idiots off of serious radio that lie on Trump. Everybody listening, there's a no good so-called journalist named Karen Hunter who has lied and said Donald Trump is responsible for measles. The measles outbreak in America is because of Donald Trump. She's on Sirius Radio, all of you listening. Y'all need to call Sirius Radio and make that, that tramp do a retraction. Donald Trump doesn't have anything to do with the outbreak of measles in Chicago. And in New York. And they called it, and they put that out there. That's slander. You're trying to make people uh, want to kill this man. You guys remember to like, share, subscribe, support. We can That's stop in a second. We can pick this back up. I, I hope it warms up so you're free to like. Do yeah, it this. is. It is the urban, Michael, it is the urban channel. You're correct. It is the and, urban channel. Where the Urban Channel owes Americans an apology to let filth like that. I mean, and this woman's talking about the black agenda. She's talking about trans and climate change. The only thing black people care about in terms of climate is we want the weather warm. You know, <laughs> it's funny. No it's funny, fact, you guys. Global warming sounds cool to me as a black person. I don't like being cold. Global warming doesn't frighten me. And I can't afford to live near the beach. I saw. Well, I, I saw, mean, the whole climate change. Who cares? And I mean, get off of Donald Trump's back. <laughs> With that, remember, like, share, subscribe. I, was, I saw something very interesting. I, we'll talk about it later. Later. But um, like Doctor Shore said, Karen Hunter, and this is the problematic thing when you say that you are a black news channel is that when you say that and 
you're not objective, what you start doing is becoming the echo chamber of a political party. Yep. And this is the problem with a lot of the black news channels that a lot of people refer to, a lot of people. Pull the trash. And I want to speak to this person. Please pray for America. America needs prayer. We got a lot of demons there in government. I mean, Trudeau is crazy. Biden is crazy. You're right. Bruce, Donald Trump, we need him. If, if the, no country can sustain what Biden, we, this thing, is, this country's gone. This country's gone if we get another four years with him. Uh, let me just say this to anybody. I have certain people, friends, family, I stopped talking to because everybody knows I support Trump. Not everything, but there's enough about Trump that you can agree with. They want to talk about Trump uh, when Trump didn't let black people rent from him in the 70s. And you got black mayors all over the country throwing vets and Americans of all colors in the streets for illegals to be in public housing and hotels. And you want me to talk about Obama, uh, uh, Trump paid his penalty for whatever Major he was majority. doing with real estate, that now all these cities are throwing Americans into the streets, a lot of them black women, uh, Dr. And, and nobody, people are talking about what, what happened 50 years ago with Trump and then not talking about what Biden and these bastards are doing to the American people right now. Half of the half of the people in the chat won't rent to black people. <laughs> half of the people in the chat won't mess with certain people. That's just how people but, are. But the point is, is if look, I'm I'm not saying Trump was right, but Trump paid a fine. Is BlackRock paying fines for all the people they're throwing out? BlackRock supports Biden. Mm. I mean, no one's talking about them. So you want to talk about what Trump, one realtor, did 50 years ago, but all of Wells Fargo and these other banks with the subprime lending, no discussion of that. The only person that's ever done wrong in the housing market is Donald Trump. I can't, I can't stand it. In fact, they hate Donald Trump so much, I like him. I'd like for him to be president just to see them cry like they did on election night in November 2016. I laughed until four in the morning. I was looking forward to laughing in 2020, and then they stole it. The election was stolen. The election was stolen. Trump won. Nobody voted for Biden. I don't think that Biden, if Biden got a ballot, he'd put it in his defense. With that, folks, <clears throat> we're going to close out. You guys have a great night. And uh, Trump. And Kevin care. Samuels matters. We're going to do more. We just had to warm this thing up. Uh, get ready. We're going to be doing our books and other things. I've been saying we're going to do it. Just people have no idea what goes on in our lives. I want to thank everybody for listening. We're going to do more. Uh, for anybody out there that's not a black American, just in case you need to know, a whole bunch of us are voting for Trump. We're going to turn this country. It's going to be redder than China. <laughs> I mean, the illegals have to go. With that, remember to like, share, subscribe. Until next time. Peace, Bruce. So be. Hey. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Gods, knights, squires, prepare for battle.